Aloha Pisces, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for February 2021. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do check out your Moon and Rising Signs to get an overall view of your energies for the month. Thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that bell button, leaving me a comment. All of those things are helping my channel to grow and expand, and I am very, very grateful. Um, if you haven't checked out my website yet, please do. It's www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. There you can book a private reading with me personally or an energy alignment session, as well as shop the um, really cool jewelry that I make on there as well. Well, let's get started. Aloha Pisces, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages, general reading for February 2021. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Remember that you are in charge of what you attract. So if there's something that you don't like in the energies um, that we're looking at right now, the current trajectory, you have the power to change that with your vibration at any time. Okay, um, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please do check out your Moon and Rising. That will give you your overall view. Thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, hitting the bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. All right, let me just give these a quick shuffle, shuffle. And we will get your message here. Okay. For Pisces, February 2021. We're going to look at a Keepers of the Light card. Um, the Keepers of the Light are different Ascended Masters. Um, one of which is going to be your um, guide for February. And we're going to draw a rune as well. Okay. Here we go. Cool. You guys got partnership, okay? Um, so Pisces, month of February, you're really going to be looking into your partnerships. You're going to be learning through partnership. This can be work, your family, your significant other. If you don't, if you're single, you might be entering into a partnership or um, gaining a significant other in the month of February. We have Dwal um, Cool. Dharma unfolding. So remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Yeah, so Pisces, I feel like for many of you, you kind of go all in super quickly in your relationships and, and in um, your um, friendships and things. And, and oftentimes, I'm kind of speeding along um, and uh, sometimes missing certain opportunities, okay? Um, through kind of giving too much too soon or not allowing it to unfold. Okay, so this is your Dharma unfolding. This is your path, what you are here to experience. And part of that is partnership, um, how you partner with others. And I know Pisces, you guys are pretty sensitive. So sometimes this can be, um, you know, as much as you want to partner with people, sometimes it's like, oh, if I just do it myself, it might be easier. Um, but what they're saying is really partnering with others um, this month, okay, is going to get you to your goals and get you to your outcomes, Pisces. All right. Oh, beautiful. Um, okay. So we have man holding a coin, but it was reversed when I came out here. So I'm going to read you the reverse reading. And it says, you are in empathy overload and need to get grounded again. So tune out for it. Hypersensitive, you're suffering from psychic exhaustion. These signals, this signals a time of recharging your batteries. Set energetic boundaries. Take a salt bath. Empty your mind and get back to you. It's not a time to be too open. Soon enough, you can let your guard down. Right now, you need self-care and self-love. It's time to say no thank you to anyone in your life who exhausts you. Won't that feel good? Okay. So, um, they're really showing you having discernment about who you partner with. Okay. Right now, like I was saying, um, you can get overloaded sometimes 
um, psychically and otherwise. And part of that is um, that overgiving and giving to people that you think need your help um, when really it's like um, more about you taking care of you, Pisces. So you're partnering with yourself and you're also, I feel like there's a change that's happening in your partnership. So you're going to be choosing with more discernment who you spend your time and energy with. Okay, because we need you to get um, back to that a beautiful energy that you have, Pisces. Okay, so this is you releasing um, the old way of being. You releasing the um, doormat, okay? Being the one that says yes to everything. That's not for you in this month, okay? Partner only with people who give back to you. Only with people who make you feel equally as good as um, you can make them feel, right? I, th I think sometimes, um, Pisces, you're too focused on the other person. And then now this is asking you to really focus on you and being in partnership with yourself. And therefore, those who you attract are going to be um, better um, partners. I do feel like some of the partnerships and friendships that you've had may be falling away in the month of February. Allow them to go. It's just the ones that have been exhausting you that are the ones that are falling away, okay? Um, and then we have yin in reverse, okay? Yin is the feminine power of receiving and magnetism. And so the protection message here says, do you have trouble receiving? You stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist upon being the giver. What do we say here, okay? You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gift, gesture, or offer, or offer in equal measure. Open up and let love, life, abundance, and spirit fill you without demand or expectation. Just receive the bounty that is yours. I feel like, um, Pisces, you have been giving and doing and feeling like you have to be the one that's in charge. And um, they're saying that it's time now to... Um, allow yourself to receive, to receive the abundance, to allow someone to give to you, to feel confident in people um, sharing their love and abundance and appreciation with you. Okay, yeah. Because it's time. There's like a softness to the energy that's happening. Um, Spirit's saying what they've been telling me for some time is to soften your edges, okay? that um, allow others to love you, allow them the gift of giving back to you. Um, because if you're the giver all the time, you don't give the opportunity um, for others to be there for you, okay? Yeah, I feel like this is just um, some beautiful energy of change that's happening for you, okay? We have the hermit and the... Um, the king of cups both in reverse okay so hermit i feel like um you know this is you taking really good care of yourself and this is allowing others to help you pisces because i feel like um for some of you you've kind of been upside down in the heart chakra um i feel like with this king of cups in reverse this is the soulmate of the water sign so your sign and being in reverse is like um kind of been kind of an upheaval in the emotions or confusion like it's like your emotions have been kind of upside down again this is you needing to to back up to allow yourself to be given to to allow yourself to recharge to clear to clear um, your energy to reset your batteries and that's going to help to clear up the confusion I feel like emotionally um, many of you have had some decisions to make because I'm seeing this one or that one, this one or that one. Some of you uh, may have had a confusing situation in your uh, love life. Um, I feel like for some of you, this is showing me like a holding on that's happening because the other past energies that have come up is the tower in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. So what that's telling me is that what you had in the past um, by taking time for yourself, 
this month of February, you're going to avert disaster, okay? Uh, you're going to avert that, that kind of um, upheaval. If you keep going at the pace that you're going right now, Pisces, without taking care of yourself, there's an upheaval that um, could happen. Um, but the, what this is showing is that by you taking care of yourself, allowing others to give, that's actually helping to release the um, confusion, the negativity. The Five of Cups can be uh, real um, negativity in the heart, like a, a broken heart multiple times over. But this is showing all of that releasing, being that it's upside down. Now that's releasing out of you. Okay, so there's a really um, beautiful heart healing that's happening in the month of February for you. In the right now, you have the stars, so that's the card of healing. Um, making a wish, wish is fulfilled, and Eight of Wands, swift movement here. So you're swiftly changing and healing, Pisces. You're swiftly moving in to the fertility of your soul, what you want, that love, that partnership, that um, you know, the harmony, um, and that that comes from you allowing yourself to be the receiver. Okay, um, future energies, near future energies are. The Four of Swords, okay, with the Empress. So Four of Swords here means rest, relax. Notice she's in a little nest there, and her tattoo is the Rune of Fertility. The Empress, fertility, okay. So your dreams are fertile. Those of you who are wanting to have a child, Pisces, um, that could definitely show up. That fertility, double fertility, is there for you. Um, what this is showing me is you coming back into your um, balanced divine feminine. Whether you're male or female doesn't matter, Pisces. Um, this empress and the yin, this is basically turning the yin um, right side up so that you're a good receiver because the empress was right side up. So month of February is you're really learning to receive. You're learning to set boundaries. You're learning to accept those on your path that bring happiness uh, rather than drama. And then we have Eight of Cups bottom of the deck. So you are going to successfully walk away um, from a relationship or a situation that has been hurting your heart over time. Um, and Eight of Cups does say that you have to let go of something. So it's not always the most comfortable card. Um, but what I will say, it's a card of great success because when you let go of that cup and you move towards what you're moving towards is this other eight here this eight of wands that rapid passionate development and the star that you're moving towards your wish fulfillment you're moving towards your healing and you're rapidly moving towards that um, but it is about giving up a pattern that you have um, of maybe giving too much uh, giving too quickly not receiving okay so there's nothing wrong with what you give, but imagine all that you've given, Pisces, um, finally allowing yourself to ha receive that back, um, to receive the love and the admiration and the help and the um, support and the absolute joyousness that you're bringing to other people. Imagine receiving that back now, okay? That's what balances and makes the harmony in your relationships, in your life. You do not have to do it alone. Spirit's really saying you do not have to do it alone. They're reminding me of a message that they've been telling me lately too is your solo journey has ended. Okay, so this is about you partnering with the correct people for you, Pisces. This is about you partnering with those that are here to give um, with you, okay? And you guys give and receive in a way that's really beautiful. This is um, in all of your partnerships. So I do think your business and your relationships, um, both love and family oriented, are going to be coming into a more harmonious time because you're choosing to um, receive and you're choosing to take good care of yourself, especially in the month of February. You're going to be partnering with yourself in a whole new way, which is going to um, change the dynamics in all of your partnerships moving forward. Okay. So these are your general messages for February, 2021 Pisces. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing until next time. Aloha.